Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel on Confluence. Uh, today we are going to cover uh, one more macro, one more feature of Confluence which is attachments and how we can manage it uh, with Confluence. Right, so we will straightly get into the requirement. So the requirement why we want to use it. This is just from the demonstration. I have just taken this one of the requirement. Maybe you might have some different requirement, but you can try to relate the way I'm going to use this macro so that it helps you to achieve what you are looking for, right? Uh, for your for managing the documents uh, within your organization or maybe for your personal use, right? So, um, so what the requirement over here is uh, we need to effectively manage the attachments. And, and allow users to edit and upload Excel, Excel files, and consolidate files with similar tag at one conference page, right? So maybe the second point is uh, the will not make any much sense at the moment when when I speak about it. But while I give you a demonstration about it, you will be able to relate uh, what I'm trying to achieve because this is something a uh, quite a handy, um, uh, I would say, feature of uh, this particular macro, and uh, this has. Quite, I would say, from my personal experience perspective, this is of uh, this has really helped me a lot while my day-to-day -day work that I do for consolidating. Like we have uh, 10 to 15 attachments in one one particular project, and they are multiple projects, and we just want uh, like the specific. Uh, documents from each of the project that we want to manage at project management information system. So how rather than attaching files in each and every page. Like we just use this particular macro which automatically picks the files and show it up at a consolidated space. So quite an interesting feature. Let's explore it further, right? So the requirement for the demonstration, what um, I would say an example that I have created is uh, again, the base remains the same. We have three project managers, um, Jasmine handling ABC, Donald handling project XYZ carry handling project CDE and all of these project managers have their own documents repository right so this is an example from project management perspective that I have taken because um, there is a lot of usage of documents when you talk about uh, project management right so I've just, that's the reason I have taken this example and uh, so uh, Jasmine manages uh, her project charter and milestone uh, maybe in Excel format or PDF format within the document repository, which is very much specific for project ABC. And similarly, there are two document, uh, I would say one document repository we which uh, with uh, these two documents for the project XYZ and similarly for uh, Kerry uh, again uh, she has her own uh, document repository where she captures uh, all the documents uh, and artifacts which are uh, with uh, I, would, I would say which is related to project CDE and what we are trying to achieve is um, we want to set up this document repository for uh, all of these three projects as well as there's a requirement that the program manager wants to see all the project charters at one place. That means he or she wants all the project charters from different projects to be reflected at a consolidated project charter place, right? So how this is helpful is, uh, for example, like uh, we take, a, I will take an example of project management information system, right? So where we need all the important documents, maybe from different projects, maybe from different efforts, right? Which might be helpful for someone who is gonna use, who maybe is gonna work on similar kind of project in future, right? So he wants uh, like documents, um, maybe uh, which he or she can refer and that could help him or her to run those projects successfully, right? So just, just an idea of like uh, why we want to consolidate uh, these documents though we are capturing at different places. Also, it's quite handy for navigation as well, right? So let's let's get into the demonstration part of it and how we can do it. Okay, so let's okay. So this is our conference space, and what I have done is so I will show you a demo for Project ABC. However, I've already created uh, this document repository for Jasmine and Kerry. So let's let's get started. So we are in the project document Donald project ABC. We are in the document repository, a page I have created, and then I click on edit. And okay, so we are here. So let's add a macro. Our macro name is uh, attachments. 
great and so we have something file name patterns attachment labels um, document date ascending page title not of much use uh, for us at the moment um, okay and here when I say file name patterns it is uh, like what kind of files do we have uh, like if it is a PDF we mentioned as a dot star PDF if it is a doc file we mentioned the same and then these are some of the checkboxes like if we want to see a preview of the attached files like rather than opening the file or downloading the file and then viewing it we can just uh, like like check this box which enables us to see um, like have a preview as what is there within the document with, without even editing and opening it right and then we have this versioning parts over here and this is already sorted okay allow upload that means uh, like uh, we are providing a feature if someone can upload a particular file or not we can just if we disable it then uh, individual might not be able to upload a file right and this is a, a page title where we want to set it up so let's insert okay and let's publish the page mm -hmm. okay so we are getting these files so let me delete these files so ideally how it looks like is it would be it should be blank so I'll just uh, make it blank oh, now mm -hmm. okay so I've deleted everything great so uh, so this is how uh, okay so this is how when you add this macro uh, the interface would look like right file modified and then you can drag or drop your respective files over here or, or as well as you can just navigate so I'll just navigate browse for files and click on charter open so okay so let the file get loaded great so we have a, we have uploaded the first file for this particular macro that's great so let, let's add one more file just maybe a blank uh, document and let me pull that up from my okay what do we have something over here yes let's let's use this or maybe a doc file okay and so uh, till this gets loaded uh, it shouldn't take much time it, it depends upon the internet speed as well like okay oh uh, yeah great so we have uploaded both the files now and this is how it looks like so now now let's see what all features we have right so I was talking about consolidating uh, files maybe a specific file from different pages to a parent page right so for that we use labels right that means I'll just tag this charter so what I want to achieve is as per our uh, example we want to consolidate all the charters present at these three different projects ABC uh, XYZ and CDE to a program view right so for that we I will just tag the a particular file that we want to consolidate with a label so charter is a label over here right so if you see there's a version history that we can that is uh, created as soon as we edit this versions will like the version history is saved over here right and next is we can view we can see the properties of the file as well the next is interesting part we can even edit and manage the files that means we can just upload a file over here and uh, uh, people can come edit upload a file they don't have to manage it on their respective systems so how we do how do we do it we click on edit file and then over here we have an option edit with so this is a preview and edit with in Excel so when you use for the first time that so you won't see this Excel option so you will see an option to install companion right so you need to install the companion software and once that is uh, it's a exe file so as soon as it's downloaded just install it and once it's it's installed you will be able to use um, excel uh, to edit this particular file maybe you will be able to edit uh, all the files right so i what i do is edit with i click on excel 
okay so it opens up the excel file that is a charter file that we have uploaded and let's add something random to see if uh, whatever we are updating is getting reflected or not okay um great going cool yeah let's save control s i just close this file and i will say upload and i just close it just refresh the window and here we go what do you see you see a new version has been created which was uh, last modified by so you get the name of the person who has modified it and when it was modified and this is the version history which is created and you can delete the file something that has been uploaded right so uh, okay let's uh, see what's there in the properties it's all about okay you have file name if you want to add you can add comments something like that uh, and you can even move this attachment uh, by providing a name over here okay so let's uh, cancel we don't want to do anything of this we go back to attachments so now what we have done view page okay so we have attached a file so there's one more thing that probably i would like to mention over here is right so this is a macro where you can add and manage uh, like if you want to see all the files on your page and for example you don't want to see the file on the page maybe you're the page has just uh, like a lot of paragraphs that you have mentioned but you want to um, have documents stored in the file right so what uh, within the same page so what you can do if you don't want to display it you have an option over here three dots click on this and over here you have an option called this attachments Right, it takes you a different uh, at the back end. Yep. So the same thing that we did, right? Adding a macro at the front page where we can see all the information. The same thing you can do it over here as well, right? So you can upload the file, right? Put comments. You can put label, and you can see the version history. I would say, yeah, version two, version one, right? All those information you can just see a detailed view of uh, the same. You can edit the file, delete the file, view the file. Okay, so just as an additional, uh, I would say I thought of explaining like uh, from where you can access uh, the attachments, apart from uh, like uh, listing them on the main page, right? Which at times we uh, we do keep like for the document repository to have a view okay great so what we have done we have now attached two files over here and we have uh, tagged the label for charter because we want to consolidate this information to the parent level and similarly we have done it for other projects jasmine and document repository if you look at this page we have uh, added a charter label and same thing for uh, carry cd project so let's come to the program view important documents so this is the place where i want to can see all the charters together so how can we do that let's add a macro and uh, we add a macro okay let's let's go and see content by label and we just add the macro macro name was charter great we click insert and let's publish the page great so what do you see we have just got all the charters over here right so th these were tagged with charter and we see the information present right so this is up and uh, this is where the file is located and this is the excel file that we wanted to explore I isn't that pretty cool we can just by doing this we can just consolidate all of uh, the files maybe the required files that we want at one particular place and that can be used by other uh, any other individual right so right to just access from this page rather than navigating to different project pages so that's how it's quite uh, useful so what all things we covered so we can attach our different documents we can manage it quite well and we can edit files upload we can do versionings uh, different versionings over here we can add comments um, right and as well as we can consolidate uh, a specific file to a particular I would say to a parent page using a tag that was we that's what we use for the project charter
right so that's all about uh, this uh, in the attachment macro uh, i hope you like this video and i'm i'm pretty sure this is uh, this is something i would say you will pretty like it and if you're using confluence maybe this might be quite handy um, to implement it uh, for your organization or for your personal use um, thank you so much for watching uh, have a wonderful day ahead thank you so much